As dawn breaks, asylum seekers wake up from what they hope is their last night on the streets. You, you must be aching. Does it, does it hurt? Yeah, yeah. 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 In, in the morning you wake up, the ribs is full of pain. Fewer than a dozen remain outside this Toronto shelter, a fraction of what, for the last two weeks, was essentially a refugee camp in the heart of downtown. When I come here, it is not the country I expected. Tired of waiting for elected officials to act, a community coalition pulled together Monday night to bus nearly 200 asylum seekers to this church. We're just serving up breakfast right now. Their first breakfast served by the Jamaican Canadian Association. Initially we were told 30 people, then it got to 100, then 130. And when I wake up this morning at 5 o'clock, I saw a message from the pastor saying 200. We're doing it for as long as we can because we're not going to put them back on the street. But our hope is that our government and province will step up to do what is right by these people and restore human dignity. After days of intergovernmental tension. You can't just drop people and say, OK, we're, we're all done. It doesn't work that way. We need to work collaboratively all together. Now, the feds have announced a one-time $212 million injection into an existing program that helps cover interim housing for asylum seekers. The lion's share, $97 million, earmarked for Toronto. We can continue in a predictable way to welcome significant numbers of refugees through our various programs, uh, but we do need uh, leadership to be demonstrated at the provincial and municipality, uh, municipal level as well. Toronto's mayor welcomed the money, but called it a short-term stopgap that will not meet the needs of refugees. For those hoping to escape the shelter crunch, a mix of resignation and trust. I don't know where I'm going to be taken, but I, I'm willing to go. And he hopes, wherever it is, it's better than this. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.